This leads to the beach area at Zachary Taylor State Park. So let's head down. They have a nice shaded wooded area with um, picnic tables and grills. And it wraps all the way around too. As you can see, they do have RV parking and van parking. There's more RVs over there right by the water. Obviously, pets are allowed because she has her dog with her. I'm not really dressed for the beach today, but this is beautiful. I've noticed that some of the beaches around here can be a bit on the rocky side. You also have benches all over that you can sit down and relax and enjoy this beautiful view. Talking about relaxing, I think I'm going to sit down and relax for a minute and enjoy this view in the nice shade. This is definitely a perfect spot to just come relax and enjoy a good book or just sit and watch the water. The weather is so amazing in Key West considering it's only March. Here we are, this is more of a beach area with the sand, but still not big waves or anything, it's more of like a lagoon, it's more calm waters. If you're definitely into water activities, Key West is the perfect place for you, they have so much to do here. Here we are at the wooded picnic area with the grills and picnic tables. We have a little beach path here. Whoa, someone really has that fire going in that grill. Wow. The beaches in Key West are absolutely amazing. That's if you're not into big waves. But if you're into surfing in big waves, yeah, Key West is probably not the place. Alright, it said that there was a trail around here somewhere, so I'm going to try to find the trail. Here we are, I knew there was trails around here somewhere, well, a trail, this is the Fort View Trail. Oh, horsey's on the trail, cool. This path actually runs along the side of the fort, and you can actually see the moat. And 
here you can see one side of Fort Zachary. All along this path they have different um, trees and a little description about the trees. This one is a sea grape. Alright everybody, well I'm re reaching the end of the trail and that was a short trail but it was still fun. I always enjoy a good trail. It's time to get back in the car now. Well everyone, that was definitely worth uh, $4.50 but if you're walking or riding a bike in, it's only two fifty. So it was four fifty for the vehicle. U.S. Coast Guard ship. All right, this is the U.S.C.G.C. Ingram Coast Guard. It's cool. I don't think it's open. It says closed, no trespassing. So, um, welcome aboard U.S. Coast Guard. Uh, Self-guided tours, $10 for adults, $5 for kids. Cool. Oh, there's a big, huge cruise ship. Look at the cannons and the spotlight. Wow, 5,000 pounds, that's one heavy anchor. Ooh, look at the barnacles on the ship. The Ernest Hemingway House, they do tours. It's 13 for adults and six for children. Cool. Maybe the next time I come back. They definitely have some interesting houses. Some are kind of really pretty and some are kind of ragged, but they still have character. Everything's so squeezed tightly together. They have some beautiful houses though. And some bright colors. That's pretty though. Very tropical. There are a lot of roosters and chickens on this island. They were everywhere. You see little chickadees running, following their mother. Everywhere, they're just everywhere and anywhere. <laughs> All right, time to say bye to Key West. It's been fun. I'd enjoyed my stay. I'll definitely be back. At least I, the next time I'll know Key West better. So I know how to get around easier and where to go, what I can see. Glad I got gas before I got here. It's, it was 2.35 a gallon in Florida City and it's 2.69 here in Key West. So that would be a good thing for y'all to do if you decide to come here. Make sure you fill up before you get here. Because it is quite expensive. Oh, look at somebody boondocking on the side of the road. Smaller RVs I've seen on the side of the road, you can get away with that. But larger RVs, no, I don't think so. See, you can just park on the side of the road. And there's no meters or anything, so it's just free parking. Well, say goodbye to Key West. I'll see you the next time. Now it's even worse outside, right outside Key West. It's 270 and 273. Ridiculous. That's ridiculous. West, a Home Depot. So that might be a good place to boon. Oh, actually, there's an RV right there. That might actually be a good place to boondock. And it's right outside of Key West. That is a cool two-seater motorcycle thingamajigger. <laughs> cool. Not so 
so I stopped and got myself a chocolate dipped vanilla cone. Mm -mm -mm. And also some french fries and some tea. Come back soon.